Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Dude. Yo. Did you see that um, a 21-year-old girl died from a drink that she got from Panera Bread and they're suing Panera Bread? So I did see that flash. I didn't read the story on it. What the hell happened, okay, man? Okay, so she, she, uh, she has like, she had a heart condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she... Um, like they had a little quip from like her roommate or somebody and she said that she was always very cautious to not drink energy drinks or like large amounts of caffeine like because she knew she had a heart issue. Well, they had this drink called the charged lemonade. Okay. It says it was offered side by side with all of Panera's non-caffeinated and or less caffeinated drinks. It was advertised as plant based and clean. And then it says at 390 milligrams. The large charge lemonade has more caffeine than any size of dark roast coffee. It says uh, it has nearly 30 teaspoons of sugar. The hell? And it says that the caffeine content is higher than the caffeine content of standard cans of Red Bull and Monster Energy drink combined. Oh, brother. And she said, she said the girl had got the 30 ounce glass of it. And then everyone thinks lemonade is safe, and this really isn't it, lemonade at all. It's an energy drink that has lemon flavor. So 390 milligrams of caffeine and 30, 30. teaspoons. Oh. Like, so 30 sugar cubes oh. in a 30-ounce drink. Oh, so that'd be like God. putting a sugar cube in a shot glass and taking 30 of them. That's, that's too much. Yeah, that's I don't even, much. I don't drink any sugar drinks. I mean, first off, bless this poor girl who yeah, passed man, away. Honestly, man. Like, uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, blessings and, and uh, you know, prayers and shit. Yeah, to exactly, to her family. That sucks. She's that's, 21, that, like, and had an issue. But still, I mean, they're going to get paid from Panera. Especially oh, yeah, if it right, was advertised. Right. It wasn't, like, advertised as, like, extra caffeine or, like, anything like that. They're going to get paid. All right, let, let's, let's, let's have a conversation here, Joe. All right. What is the deal with Americans and this drink culture? What is this, man? Did you see the video today of the? I saw this video I didn't online. See the video, it was uh, it was like it, it was. I don't know if it was posted on TikTok or what. I, I didn't see it on TikTok because I don't have TikTok. But it was like when your husband doesn't know how much Starbucks costs, and it was like this guy, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah," and, and like, and he's and, and you hear the person at the thing, uh, say, "Okay," you can't hear the tone. She's like, "Go ahead and pull around," and he goes, "He goes, what the hell did we just order?" And she's like, "What do you mean?" And he's like. Did they charge us to sit in line? <laughs> he goes, that's like $9 a drink. He goes, that has to be wrong. When I get up here to the window, I'm going to talk to her about that. And she's just like, ha, 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 like laughing at him because he doesn't go to Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the comments, people were like, I used to work in Starbucks and I would see people come in three, four times a day and get $10, $10 drinks. drinks. And like, and the guy was like, I remember this one lady used to come in all the time. And she said that her husband got onto her because her Starbucks habit was $700 a month or something that's stupid. Insane. And I'm like, I was pissed when we were in Vegas. I had to get Starbucks. I got black coffee. It was eight dollars for a black coffee on the Vegas Strip. And I had to wait in line for an hour on the Vegas Strip. It was inside the casino. So yeah, but like, bruh, like they need to have a I'm just getting black coffee line. So because I get up there and they're like. They look at I, when I go in there and go, "Can I get a large black coffee?" They look at me like I'm stupid. They're like, "Do you know where you are?" And I'm like, "Unfortunately, yes." And they turn around, pour it out, and hand it to me. They don't even take my name and write it on the cup. I don't get to stand in the fun no, line. You get no special treatment. I don't get to stand and talk to everybody about their goddamn. What do you get a frappa a frappa poopa duper like a little a little espresso sandwich? Nothing. I just get handed my coffee. I walk. People shame me. They point at me. They're like, "Oh, where's your sugar, bro?" That's a good point. They, they throw should. hot coffee in they, my face. Yeah, they yeah. should. Son of a bitch. You should be ostracized. I am. Uh, it's expensive yeah. as f. I don't know what's up with drink culture, bro. Castrated. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. You don't, don't talk have, about my. You don't have sugar in your coffee. Yeah, it's a problem. Like it's funny because I always drink black coffee. So when people come over here, they're like, "Do you have any sugar and creamer?" I'm like, "I have some." Splenda, but I don't have any milk, yo. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, what is this? I got, I got whiskey, black I, coffee, and water. What you want? I honestly think you're part of the problem. Me? Yeah. The black coffee guy? Uh, Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, and, and I feel like I, I, I helped it with it because we were the juice boys for a while. We would always keep 
various types of juice in a refrigerator, and we were filling. It wasn't we had- even real. Now, when you say juice, it's not like cranberry cocktail. No, it's, <laughs> it's like crystal light lemonade and shit. Like-, it was like lemonade. We had fruit punch. We had like orange drink, and then we had like another like pink something or other. Yeah, in there. yeah, whatever. Dude. We used yeah. to have all kinds of juice in there. <laughs> we used to keep it, and eventually, I was, I condensed it down. Now I just drink water. Water, that's black all- coffee, and I drink a little bit of cranberry juice. Hundred percent cranberry juice. But that's not the way that the rest of America lives. No, the rest of America is living on. I hope Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero. I mean, I do like Coke Zero. Don't get yeah, me wrong. And I know you. I've seen you drink them. Yeah, um, I, I, I've, I have. I've given up because I went. I drank tons of energy drinks. I gave. I haven't had one in almost two years. I then. I then I was Gatorade drinking seltzers for a long time. What, what about those Gatorades over? They're just for sports, though. They're sugar free. They're sugar free Gatorade. Right. So I only drink those after I play volleyball. I I have a hard time understanding drink culture. I, I really do, and that's why I've said I want to have a conversation about that because I'm still I've been a water boy for a long time. I've been off the juice for years. <laughs> I've been off the juice for years. You know. I mean, you still drink it when you drink, though. I drink alcohol, and when you do, you mix it with seltzers. I do. Yeah. But I just or want, juice or something. I just want to cut the flavor of the alcohol, though. No, no, I feel you. If you, if you mix your cranberry vodka with water, it ain't going to really do yeah, much for it. Just, Black coffee and cranberry vodka. <laughs> yeah, I just put cranberry juice in some vodka, and that's how I drink. And that's all I drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. So maybe you can help me out, man. Why do you, why do you still have the feeling, even today, that you want something flavored? I don't know, man. Is it just like... I need it. I'm tapping my I'm, wrist like I, a I, like, I, need, I need. I mean, right now I'm in a good spot where it's like water and black coffee. So I mean, like I'm better but than you've ever. Been like a Mountain Dew two liter guy a day. You've Way back that. when, like in the when I was twenty. So what, what, I used to drink tons of pop. It was because I was raised drinking it. Oh okay. yeah, I mean we had pop I mean, in the house. Fair. I could drink whatever. So like. It, I mean, that didn't help me. Probably helped me put on a ton of weight, if nothing else. But then, like, I used to drink regular pop for a long time, and then I went to just drinking diet pop so I wouldn't get the sugar. I stopped drinking sugar drinks. Once you knew. Oh, my God. Two th- I think 2005, I think. I, I, don't, I think I stopped drinking, like, regular pop. Just, nothing that wasn't sugar-free or diet, it, like, 20 years ago. Can, like, honestly, man, can you think of all the shit that our parents probably told us that they didn't know really what the hell they were talking about. Oh, a ton of stuff. Like my mom doesn't even barely cook vegetables. So like I, so, and then people are like, you didn't eat vegetables. I'm like, no, I ate potatoes and meat, man. And <laughs> Coke. Like it was just like Coca-Cola and potatoes. Just like, they just, they just didn't know. They just didn't. Yeah. And, and when you really get down to it, all right, everybody. And we weren't can- rich. So it was like, what was cheap? Canceled dynamite after the statement. Jonas, the worst thing is that our moms were women. All right. Okay, I don't get the I don't get it, but what do you mean? I'm don't giving, look at me like that. I'm giving them the look. I don't know what that means. I'm just that's saying the worst that's, thing. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. I don't understand what you mean. It, maybe that maybe that joke ain't for you. Somebody maybe that, that joke ain't for you. I'm just saying is that I love my mother to death, but when it comes down to it, our moms are women. So Okay. A lot of times people just don't know what the hell they're talking about and they just go off of what they were taught and what they were taught before and then. But really, that's based in no actual science. They're just like, this is what... Oh, remember back in the day before the internet? They'd be like, you guys, your grandpa something? He'd be like, yep, this is the answer. And then you just believed it was the truth? Yeah. (laughs) Grandpa said that... (laughs) Boy, that's not right. (laughs) Yeah. Or you might have encyclopedias. Grandpa, I'm going to look up into the encyclopedia about it. That... And that's the thing about like that that, that generational culture um, that just like keeps affecting generations as they as they go on, is that it, it influences or it like uh, it solidifies those lies. I think homeschooling is a mistake. I think that we need to start looking at the way that China's raising their children. Oh, you're going to go for the communists. <laughs> well, no, All not, right, let's go. I'm not let's saying raise us as communists. I'm not saying take their political standards, but I'm saying some of their academic standards <laughs> influencing them over here. We can't have our kids on the internet and on the TikTok all the time. They don't, let, they don't allow that in China. We also expect certain uh, points to be made in schools, right? China does it even harder. 
Yeah. Our kids are over here smacking teachers and, and we are growing up in idiocracy. And, like it's happening. And like vaping. I haven't watched that movie in forever. I need to watch it because it everyone says that we are getting closer and closer to that movie just being the truth than ever. Yeah, man. Honestly. And if uh <laughs> if a certain person gets reelected, yeah, it, it's going to be full blown. Ugh. Except it's going to be real life, and there's going to be real life loss. That's that's the sad part. Is that more more people are going to have to die before there's anything that's going to calm down. It's a wild ass world, man. The entire world is just insane right now. There was something I was going to say, and then when you blew my mind when you said we should be more like China, and I was like, I really had something fun. <laughs> Probably not fun to say, but then I was just like, like the communists? And then, like, it totally got lost. So I don't know, dude. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.